hidden away on a small residential street in Sale, inside a fairly modest dojo, two of England's best karate fighters are hard at work. Both Kelly and Natalie will represent England at the European Championships in Turkey this week, but in karate, being one of the best in the country does have its downsides. Kelly explains. Our governing body for karate pays for our entry fee, which is what allows us to compete in the competition. But then everything else, getting to training, paying for training in the sports halls we train in, the petrol to get there, because a lot of the time it isn't near our homes, because everyone lives up and down the country, so you have to travel everywhere. Um, that's all paid for by us, and we get the bill, and that's what we pay for. In this case, the bill amounted to just over £700. As a student, Kelly couldn't afford to pay herself, so she was forced to ask for help via the website GoFundMe. It felt like I was asking for charity, but I was in a situation where, because I'm at uni and I've got the student debt or whatever, it was just difficult. I had no other choice, really, than to ask externally. It was really um, humbling. I was really shocked at how many people wanted to help and like they were really supportive. It's really nice. And Kelly isn't the only one that's had problems with funding. This is my 12th or 13th uh, time away with England and each time it's been at least £700 to go. It's quite sad really because even down to people here at, at Sale Dojo, um, there's, there's people that we know have like full potential but their parents just literally can't afford it. The girls coach, Ian, told me this issue is nothing new. Um, we have one incident um, a couple of years ago. Uh, I spoke to one of the one of the parents. He had two children who was competing for England, and he spent eleven thousand pound in a year on two students. I decided to contact UK Sport to ask why karate doesn't receive any funding. They told me UK Sport is currently working closely with the newly confirmed Olympic sport of karate to understand how we can best support key athletes. All the intelligence we have been gathering in collaboration with the sports will be taken into account at our annual investment review process later this year. Karate is one of five new sports added to the schedule for Tokyo 2020. And for now at least, if you want to make it, you'll have to pay your own way.